Hi Dean, what impacted you the most at this lab session? This lab was about vulnerability. We had six amazing YPOers tell deeply personal stories. And the way to connect in business and personal and family we have found is emotional vulnerability. So what was most impactful is the one takeaway we all take away as YPOers is that vulnerability is victory. If you want to have victory in all areas of your life, it's just not about business. It's about sharing your story and being authentic all the way through and through. Um, I find it the most valuable part of GLC and EDGE. For me, the power of leaders telling their truth, sharing their story, being vulnerable, sharing their struggle is so impactful because it gives the voice to so many people. It gives so many people the courage to speak about what they're going through. Just uh, lost for words. I think uh, another only in YPO experience. Uh, to have an environment where you're seeing these incredible, uh, successful, accomplished business leaders come and share their personal struggles in such a very transparent and open uh, manner. There's a saying that, that we comfort others with the comfort that we ourselves have received. And I think for them to, uh, to open up their hearts, to share their story, I'm sure it resonates with so many of our members. And in turn, um, we're able, including me personally, to find the, the strength and the inspiration that, that you truly can face those things that, uh, that, that sometimes are, are obstacles in your way and overcome that and, and actually have a meaningful experience that can benefit others. So I think it was a tremendous experience. You know, Fred, just walking down the corridor, I'm reflecting on what an incredible hour we've just had uh, in, in a world that is frankly a bit short on inspiration and authenticity in that safe haven of YPO. In one hour, we can produce so much content. I, I think on my very long journey home, I'm really gonna have a lot to reflect on. Today's lab was very inspiring. I loved all the talk about business as a force for good. Um, YPO is an incredible organization, and I was told today that they're the world's third largest economy. If 27, 28,000 members can get together and apply everything that they have in their businesses as resources to be shared and utilized across all these members, I'm excited by all the impact that we can make together. And on my personal leadership style, as the incoming chair for Southeast Asia, I want to make sure that Southeast Asia is at the forefront of all the impactful things that YPO can be doing and are already doing. Uh, the dynamism of YPO as an organization, the ability to reinvent itself, to reimagine this whole concept of re, I think is just perfect. Um, the ability of somebody like Pascal to come in in one year uh, break through uh, so many log jams and, and, and reimagine the organization to have a, an event like the lab that just um, really crystallizes so many of the values of YPO, the openness, the sharing, the vulnerability, um, and yeah, the dynamism of the organization to constantly rethink itself and reposition itself and reimagine about what it's going to mean for, for members in the future. Do you see yourself being more vulnerable in business as well? And how will you use these ideas in uh, work at your work? I learned this about four years ago through a deeply personal story in my life and learned that now nothing can be hidden in this world. So the more you come out, the more you'll build deeper connections. And if you have deeper connections, you'll connect in business there is connection. So if you want to be more successful, you have to be more vulnerable. And that's the way I imply it to my office. It, it definitely gets me thinking, what am I using my voice for? What is What part of my life has a story? And what impact can it have to help others? You know, sometimes we have to put on the mask or we feel like we have to put on the mask to, uh, to have a certain persona or a certain presence. But I think the true strength lies in our being able to be open and transparent and actually share our struggles and how we were able to get through that. I think it actually will inspire others to do the same. You know, honestly, it's an amalgam and I, I don't think I fully downloaded yet, but I can tell you one thing I've decided I'm going to do when I get home. Uh, my, my son will leave home in about three months He's 18 and he goes off to university, um, so we won't be seeing as much of him. I'm going to write him a letter with all the things that I've never told him that I think I should tell him. That's very moving and powerful. Thank you very much for sharing, Alan. Thank you. Thank you.